All right, guys, we are in Summer's Bend, Upton, Plant 2. As you can see, beautiful looking home. These ones run between 3,100 and 3,245 square feet. Four bed, five bed, three and a half bath to four and a half bath. Two car garage to three car garage is the square footage difference. As you walk in, you got the bedroom there. You got its own bath. Which you've got the walk-in closet as well, good size. And this is the bedroom facing the front of the home. Under the stairs, we'll go upstairs. We got other people here at the model home checking it out. Busy. Seems like that's been the case pretty much everywhere I've gone. You've got people looking at homes all over. So as you come up the stairs, you've got this nice, good-sized loft area, which goes out to a patio. And, and even that, good size, as you can see. So, could easily be game room, TV room, loft area, whatever you want, and then just obviously looking out to the backyard. You got this little flex space. They set it up for like a bike. Could really be set up for whatever you want. But yeah, pretty small as you can tell. I'd say maybe an office nook or something like that too. And then walking on over here, this is the master bedroom. Yeah. So obviously model homes decked out look nice. Comes with some upgrades. But obviously, Summer's Bend, one of the most desirable neighborhoods, especially of the new build communities. Great location, backs to like Temecula wine country, great schools, good location. Walk-in closet, nice and long, plenty of space. And then you got the separate shower, separate bath, dual vanity and then walking into some additional storage, and then on, obviously the toilet area. That's the master bed. Again, if you continue down the hall, you've got just to the left, you've got the laundry room, sink, plenty of cabinets, washer dryer. And to the right, you've got two secondary bedrooms. Obviously nicely decked out. A little above average in terms of square footage, it seems. I would guess about 12 by 13 or so. And then just smaller closets, not walk-ins or anything. But good size. And then down the hall, you've got the dual vanity, Secondary bathroom here. Bathtub, toilet. But yeah, nice floor plan. I'd say this space would be a little awkward to figure out, but I'd probably just use this office area. That's it. Oh, actually, shoot, I didn't show you the rest of the downstairs. All right, let's go check out the rest of the downstairs. 
very open over here to the family room TV area, which opens to the kitchen area. Although you've got the wall here, obviously they have it looking nice decked out with all sorts of moldings and stuff, but you've got a huge breakfast bar on the island, pantry, got the oven over here on the right, stove top, sink in the island, the quartz countertops, four seats there, plenty of room for a huge, a good sized table. And then you've still got the family room. And then of course you've that deck patio that we saw up above covers this outdoor patio. And of course Upton is one of the higher end communities within Summer's Bend. Not the highest, but I, I wanna say it's definitely up there. Of course, you've got that really nice neighborhood where you've got homes in the mid million price point. You've got this flex space that could easily be an exercise room or the third car tandem garage. And then additional two cars over there. They have this set up as kind of a work office area. And then a secondary bath, half bath here on the first floor. But anyway, cool floor plan. Um, again, you've got the one bedroom with the full bath down here, two secondary bedrooms up above, and then the master, which this floor plan, you actually have the four bedrooms, but it could be five bedrooms. The fifth bedroom could potentially be that space I just showed you guys over there, the flex space, uh, but definitely beautiful floor plan. Very functional, good size, just over 3,000 square feet. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, give me a call, shoot me a message. Um, thanks for tuning in.